Hey everyone, Noel with RPS here. Today I'm with the brand new RPS Air 1200 Solar Pond Aeration Kit. This is our newest and biggest in our aeration series. And in the same fashion as our other aerators, this is gonna be a fantastically easy kit to install. Everything is pre-wired, plug and play, ready to go. And that's gonna make it really easy for you to get your pond health in great shape for the summertime. We're gonna be running through some of the components that will be included in this new kit and unbox some of those today. And we're gonna take a look at how we've brought the same DIY magic of the smaller aerators into a bigger system to allow for more aeration. As we've mentioned in previous videos, the addition of a solar aerator is gonna be a huge benefit to your pond. You're gonna see an improvement in water quality it's gonna help fight those algae blooms, and it's also gonna be great for any fish that you have swimming around in the pond. So let's start and take a closer look at this enclosure here. So this enclosure, you'll notice, is a bit bigger than our smaller aerator kits, and that's because it's supporting a much larger system. We can go ahead and open up this latch here, and you'll notice as you look inside here, the RPS universal controller is still mounted right at the top, Everything in here is pre-wired. You have your MC4 connectors and the wiring down into the compressor right at the top here. You're gonna notice a difference from our other aeration kits and that's an additional air hose. So we're actually gonna have three standard air hose outlets with an extra fourth available should it be needed. Uh, right at the top here, you're also gonna see these two mufflers. Those are really gonna help keep the sound down on this system it's really just going to sound like a low hum something equivalent to like an air conditioner so really nothing too crazy there um, if we look a little bit farther down you're going to see the air compressor itself now this is going to be a thousand watt motor so that's the biggest air compressor that we have to date and of course right underneath that you'll see the fans that are going to help keep the system cool during operation and those work in tandem with these vents along the side to make sure that when it gets hot, there's still sufficient airflow to keep the system cool. So the nice thing about this 1000 watt motor, being a little bit larger, it's gonna be able to support more airflow. So we actually have some slightly larger air hoses than previously. These are gonna be 5 8 inch weighted air hose, and that's gonna to help to support eight to nine cubic feet per minute of oxygen getting into the water. So a much more robust system, a lot more air, and it'll be great with those three air hoses or optional four so that you can really spread out the aeration as you see fit for a pond that's shaped weird or a pond that's a little bit larger and that's gonna help get oxygen and improve that water quality. All right, so since it can be a little bit hard to see inside of that enclosure, I wanted to take you in for a closer look at what's going on under the hood. So this right here is that 1000 watt motor that I mentioned. You can see it's a large, robust, system a lot bigger than anything else we have for aerators and it's going to support that higher airflow right here on the front facing you we've got those air mufflers so those are mounted here just to help with that noise suppression we've got an exhaust side right here and an intake right here and this whole piece is going to be seated inside of that enclosure you'll notice here that we don't have the hose barbs that's because this is just the compressor I actually pulled a smaller example to show you what it would look like in miniature when it's in the enclosure. So we're gonna be seated on top of this housing that leaves space for a fan underneath to help with cooling the system. And then you'll see those hose barbs mounted on the top as you did inside the enclosure. So this is obviously a much smaller system. There's only two hose barbs. But as you saw in that original enclosure, there would be a total of four hose barbs mounted on top. So this is just an idea a little bit better of what is going on underneath the hood. So this is the hardware mounted inside. I'm gonna go ahead and close up this housing for now and we'll take a look at some of the extras that are gonna come in this kit. So right here, we've got our ground lug kit. This is gonna enable you to ground the system, which is really standard practice. You wanna avoid any chance of lightning damaging the system. Uh, all you're gonna to need to do is provide a copper grounding rod, and we have the materials in this kit to allow you to ground the system with a rod so that there's no chance of any damage from something like a lightning strike. 
Um, we really encourage everyone to do that, even if you're not in a lightning prone area, it's really just best practice to ground the system. And we have that kit right here. You'll also notice there's some electrical tape and some Teflon tape in there for the install process um, when you're wrapping some of those fittings. So that's all included in this kit right here. So you're also gonna see 20 feet of solar wire. Those have MC4 connectors and that's gonna let you connect your solar panel array to the universal controller, which is already pre-wired. You can just snap those right in and then that's gonna get the power from the panels into your system. And when you open that up, you'll see it looks something like this. So we've got our MC4s, male and female, on the ends to make sure that everything gets wired up. Another key component of the solar panel array is going to be those Y connectors, also MC4s. It's gonna let you keep everything wired uh, in the proper series and then split together so that it comes out to just those wires that will hook right into the system. Another important piece inside the kit is going to be the hose barb and some hose clamps to help you fasten that air hose to the barbs to make sure that everything is nice and snug and airtight so that all of the air that you're pumping is gonna get out into the water. And that looks a little something like this. Another key component that we're gonna have here is the air stone itself. So this is a pretty heavy duty air stone that's gonna to help to support that higher airflow. And it's also got a ballast here on the bottom to make sure that everything stays upright and in the proper position when it's in the water. Uh, so you'll get a number of these depending on how many come in your kit. All right, let's take a look at the solar panels that are gonna come in this kit. Now, keep in mind, there's going to be a total of 12 panels included with this system. Um, right now, I've just got a box of two that I'll open up for you. But when you get this kit, you'll notice that you have six of these boxes of two for a total of 12 100 watt panels. Let me go ahead and open this up. So you'll see these panels are gonna be packed really nicely in the box to help ensure that there's no damage during shipping as they are a little bit fragile, but we do take the extra steps to make sure that they get packed nicely to avoid that. Of course, if you were to order a system like this and your panels arrive damaged, you can always call into our customer support and they will get you squared away immediately. We wanna make sure that everyone gets their system up and running in as little time as possible. So we will take care of you should anything arise. And let's take a look at this. So this is our standard 100 watt panel. As I mentioned, there will be 12 of this total included in the kit. You'll have your MC4s coming out the back to make the installation nice and easy. So with these 12 100 watt solar panels, you're gonna have a couple options as far as panel mounting. Of course, you can always make your own custom panel mounting, but we do offer some kits to make the installation a little bit easier. One option with the kits that we offer is to do a four panel top of pole mount and an eight panel top of pole mount. So what that's gonna look like is two posts. One is gonna have four panels, the other is gonna have eight panels and you'll wire them into one array and then wire that into the system. The other option that we have is a VC2 HR8 ground mount kit. So that's gonna be four posts in the ground, rails across the top, and you'll have space for 16 panels, but with this system, you'd only use 12 of those spaces and fill up the ground mount accordingly. And then of course, wire it into the system, and then you will be all set to go. And those panel mount kits just make the whole installation a lot easier. We have the same great instructions that come with the kits with those panel mounts. So the last thing I wanna show you real quick is that new weighted air hose that's gonna be included. It's that 5 8 slightly larger size, and it's gonna come in rolls of 100 feet. All right, so here is that air hose. Like I said, you'll notice it's a little bit larger in diameter, and you can feel it's also pretty heavy. So it's gonna help make sure everything stays underwater in the proper position to make sure that the air is flowing adequately into the pond. I think that'll do it for our overview of the RPS Air 1200 kit. These kits are gonna be coming out soon so you can get one, help fight algae bloom, keep murky water down, and make it crystal clear all summer long.